plastic problem has created one of the biggest environmental threats to our planet. No plastic Since the beginning of the plastics industry in the early 1950s, the use of this material has exploded. Around 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been created by humans since then, and of the plastic waste produced between 1950 and 2015, only 9% was recycled. Instead of being recycled, the plastic ends up in landfills, oceans, waterways, and in our food most of the time. It is now estimated that there are 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic debris in the ocean, and that number is increasing by around 13 million metric tons of plastic every year. That's the equivalent of one garbage truck load's worth every minute. Ocean currents cause some of this to collect in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, an accumulation of trash that covers around 1.6 million square kilometers, an area twice the size of Texas or three times the size of France. And it gets worse. People worldwide use approximately 500 billion single-use plastic bags per year, about 150 bags a year per person. Very often they can only be used once. Then they are thrown in the bin or they end up as litter in parks and even in the sea. Such amounts of plastic waste have a devastating effect on marine life. Plastic waste is estimated to kill 100,000 marine animals and 1 million seabirds a year. But that's not the worst of it. Plastic waste can take decades or centuries to fully decompose, but it more quickly breaks down into microplastics. These are tiny pieces of plastic less than 5 millimeters in length, according to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. These microplastics are now found in every part of the food chain, from salt to drinking water. Governments have finally begun taking action against plastic waste. Seems to be determined to lead the way to a world without plastic bags. One country in Latin America has set a goal to eliminate all single-use plastics by the year 2020. In January 2020, China, one of the world's biggest users of plastic, banned the use of non-biodegradable bags in major cities by the end of 2020 and in all cities by 2020. The country also forbade the restaurant industry from using single-use straws by the end of 2020. This is because China has a huge garbage problem. Its largest rubbish dump filled up 25 years ahead of schedule. Meanwhile, in March 2019, the European Parliament voted to ban single-use plastic cutlery, cotton buds, straws and stirrers. Plastic straws, stirrers and cotton buds could be banned in England. The ban is set to come into effect by 2021 in all European Union member states. In addition, the legislation states that plastic bottles should be made of 25% recycled content by 2025 and 90% of them should be recycled by 2029. Canada also announced it would ban single-use plastics by 2021. This came after it was revealed that the country recycles only 10% of its plastic. In the meantime, several African nations, such as Tanzania, have implemented strict plastic bag bans, and Africa is leading the way in banning single-use plastic. Tanzania has also extended its ban to tourists. If you are visiting the country, any plastic bags you have will be confiscated at the airport. In addition to bans, there are also efforts underway to clean up the plastic debris from our oceans. One such effort is called the Ocean Cleanup. This is a non-governmental organization based in the Netherlands that is working to develop ways of removing plastic pollution from the oceans. The Ocean Cleanup claims to be running the largest ocean cleanup in history and aims to remove 90% of ocean plastic pollution. That is a very lofty goal. 
and it could make a true difference if achieved. Six months ago, the organization announced that its latest ocean prototype system, called System 001-B, had started to collect plastic debris from the ocean. The system uses the natural forces of the ocean to passively catch and concentrate plastic. The organization is also working on a newer system, called System 002. According to the Ocean Cleanup, it will be a full-scale cleanup system that is able to both endure and retain the collected plastic for long periods of time. This is some much-needed good news in a sea of rubbish. With the bands expanding around the world and efforts to clean up the oceans well underway, we begin to see some improvement on our plastic problem. But this will only really be solved once we have stopped using some types of plastics altogether. Will we be able to reverse the damage caused by plastic waste? Our group had observed the usage of lunch boxes among FPTP students at the cafeteria in Tanfetima Hostel. We found that the ratio of FPTP students who died in and those who packed their foods back to their room was about 50-50. Students will use the plastic provided by the cafeteria to pack their food. Awareness of FPTP students using lunch boxes to pack the food in the cafeteria. The objectives are to improve the awareness of students being environmental friendly, to discuss the potential harm of using plastics products to our health and the environment, to encourage FPTP students to use their own lunch boxes to buy the food in the cafeteria, to strengthen the habits of FPTP students to recycle waste products. Target people. Year one to four, FPTP students We post it on our social media. We post it on our social media. We do observation again and found that there are FPTP students started to bring their own lunch boxes to the cafeteria to pack their food. After watching this video, do you know what you should do now? Don't wait, take your action.